Corinna gets on it, and then David starts moving it. Having your own friends exposing you for the problematic things you have done is by far the worst you can ever imagine if you were the person on the receiving end. Here is the dark truth about David Dobrik and Jeff Wittick, and how Jeff managed to expose David's entire career for manipulating, betraying, and even injuring him to the point of death. If we go way back to when David Dobrik was popping on social media, David had a really big friend group that he used to film YouTube videos with. And despite people continuously obsessing over the group for having the funniest videos out there, there were some issues going around between them behind the scenes. And one of these issues was actually a hidden secret that no one really knew about until recently. Ever since David got canceled by millions of people after he got exposed for witnessing girls and teenagers getting essayed and the entire internet turned against David in just a blink of an eye. In fact, David tried his best to post an apology video just to regain the supporters he lost, but unfortunately, he failed miserably at it after his video became a worldwide meme on Twitter. Even though using memes from his apology was a bit insensitive for the victims that were involved in this situation, people continued making fun of David until he decided to return to posting YouTube videos and uploading weekly on his podcast channel. In the meantime, tons of fans were confused as to why many of David's friends stopped appearing in David's vlogs, including the YouTuber Jeff Wittick. Now, Jeff Wittick was also known for being a part of the vlog squad, but for a while, Jeff stopped interacting or appearing in David's vlogs for a while. And this situation started tons of speculations on the internet and whether David has hurt Jeff to the point where Jeff had a swollen eye for even a while after they both stopped talking to each other. At first, Trisha Paytas had an interview with Jeff Wittick where she asked him about David Dobrik and why he stopped appearing in his vlogs. It's stuff that like, I, like I'm wearing glasses because you know like I, I haven't been filming videos because I'm a little insecure about it so I just been laying low. After Jeff gave him tons of hints about his eye surgery and how he doesn't want to involve people in the situation, he then decided to post a vlog slash documentary video about it titled After the Incident where he showed a video of him getting hit by an excavator machine. Around an excavator at 60 miles per hour. David, he didn't sign up to nearly friend and nearly lose everything that he's worked for. Nobody asked for this, but this is what happened. From the video shown itself, you can see Jeff swinging by an excavator machine while David was controlling it, which resulted in Jeff falling from the rope and bashing his skull on the machine. But what made people terrified the most is why Jeff refused to put the blame on David when he was the one controlling the excavator and forcing him to do this stunt for his vlogs. This situation made people throw a lot of hate at David for not only putting Jeff's life in danger, but for also hiding behind it instead of admitting his mistakes and apologizing to Jeff publicly for almost ending his life. After almost 10 months since the incident happened, many people, including Jeff and David, forgot about the situation and pretended that it didn't exist. Until recently when Jeff witnessed how David managed to move from the situation immediately and continue doing his thing without apologizing or admitting his mistakes. And this issue made Jeff furious to the point where he had to go back to the incident and find a way to punish David for the horrible situation he put Jeff through. As a result of this, Jeff decided to go on the internet after gaining tons of courage from his fans to expose David. And guys, what you're about to hear will completely shock you. Not only did Jeff suddenly turn against David in his newest live stream, but he even revealed how David didn't text him after he went through his ninth eye surgery from the incident. So he decided to unfollow David from all social media platforms and upload a YouTube video titled Dear David. It felt good to hit that unfollow button. You know, I woke up from surgery and a day goes by, no text from him. Another day goes by, no text. I look at his Instagram and it's just him like, oh, I'm so happy with my life right now, my vlogs and everything. After Jeff opened up about how horrible David is and how he didn't reach out to him after having multiple surgeries, he then started exposing David in each and every second of his video. After he revealed that David and Casey Neistat have secretly been filming a documentary video about his incident and how David was planning on throwing all of the blame on Jeff in the documentary by calling him crazy for falling on his head. Aside from this, Jeff even revealed in his video the reason why he's been hiding the truth from the internet since he wanted to protect David from the backlash he would receive. But of course, David seemed unappreciative to the point where it made Jeff himself lose his temper and expose David after 10 years. 
months. Now, Jeff did have his final surgery since the incident last month after he posted a picture on Instagram with a caption saying, Surgery went great. Nine down, one to go. Finally got one of these damn plates out of my eye. Thank you for all the love and support. With that being said, everything went completely normal these past weeks despite Jeff threatening David that he would expose a lot of things that could ruin his career again. Until David finally decided to enter the scene after David went on his podcast to talk about some issues he has been avoiding about the incident. And instead of David dedicating an apology to Jeff and admitting his mistakes, he went on first and victimized himself by explaining how Jeff knew about how dangerous the stunt was that they were about to pull and how the stunt itself was actually Jeff's idea. I remember Jeff came up to one of my buddies and then later to me and he was like, he said he wanted to swing from it and I loved the idea. I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. After this, David began exposing Jeff for sending him videos before the incident of people pulling the same stunt and asking him to recreate the video. And on top of this, David even revealed that Jeff was begging him for months to hide the truth from the situation so that people wouldn't blame him for his idea to swing off an excavator machine. There was a video that he found like 15 minutes before the accident that somebody posted and he said let's recreate this and then he asked he's like can you can you pro can you promise me one thing and i said what and he's like can you just promise that no one ever knows that this was my idea when david was trying to clear his image from the situation he then decided to take full responsibility and address the lies jeff made about him since a while ago jeff revealed in his interview that david stopped paying his medical bills for him and that it is affecting his credit score but instead in david's new video he revealed that he was paying for jeff's medical medical bills completely and stated that he's paid nearly $78,000 for Jeff's surgeries. Um, I think I, I just had a counting check and it was like $78,000 of surgery and I don't know what that equates to. I don't know what that is, but I don't love the fact that he's going around saying I don't pay for his surgeries. Yep. And like, he still has my word. Like I told him that I'd pay for his surgeries. He can still, and, 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 and the reason we haven't been paying for a surgery, I don't know if it's his assistant's fault or, or, or Jeff just told him to back off from us, but like, I don't handle that stuff more. I just give approval to, to spend that, whatever. Right. But like, Natalie has asked multiple times, like loop us into all these surgeries and we're just not getting looped into anything. And then we're blindsided when he goes to another surgery and then he'll like come out and be like, I didn't know that he had a surgery until he unfollowed me on Instagram. It's been 24 hours since David posted his response video and made all these claims against Jeff. And now Jeff is preparing for a response video towards David after he made a tweet saying this. New podcast tonight, recording now, up in two hours. Don't go to sleep yet, David. You're gonna wanna see this one. All I gotta say is that we should stay tuned to Jeff's response towards David, but for now, make sure to click on this tab if you need more drama videos on these influencers. Thank you.